Okay. So if I can, we did see like half of that. Yeah. Part of it is that I didn't register a lot of it and we do talk through things. Um, and I fixated on the part of him being like, it would be crazy for me to ever deviate from Demi because of not only do I love her, but I also find her very attractive. Right. The, the problem a lot of people have. Okay. Because this isn't like a fresh reaction, obviously, um, is, uh, the intense compliments of her appearance for Charlotte. And they, people don't feel like he's been giving Demi as much of that. I... And so like the words berserk, mad, sublime. They wanted us to say sublime. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. <laughs> sublime? <laughs> sublime. <laughs> okay, this is my perspective. I feel like this is going to be a hot take, so just get prepared. This okay? might not be what you want to hear, this y'all. Not, it's not going to be what you want to hear, and I'm sorry, okay, but I have to be true to how I actually feel. Okay. And how I actually feel is that part of the reason that he was emphasizing how beautiful Charlotte is, which objectively she is incredibly stunningly beautiful, okay? And part of the reason he was emphasizing that was to be like a 10 walks in the room. Like, I'm not leaving Demi for any other 10. He's like, Do you know he's what like, I'm saying? He's like, give me a supermodel don't care. Yes. I, I, I've been thinking about this all day. I've been roofing all day. <laughs> literally, I've been nailing in <laughs> I love shingles. that you've been, like, you've been literally just thinking that's about what, this that's on your own yeah, time. Yeah. You've been thinking about this. Yeah. Okay. But I was thinking exactly that. And, 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 um, and I don't want to, I don't want to say that we know for sure. Right. Because like, there are a lot of people that are really not thinking they're going to get together. There are a lot of people that really do like them together. And I think we're more yeah. in the, like, like them together camp. Yeah. Yeah. For y- sure. It could be that he isn't as into Demi, but, like, that would make him kind of psycho because he's saying over and over again that he is into her, that he finds her attractive. We know they have a physical connection. He's meeting all of her family. So he's either, like, a wild, like, liar manipulator. Or I think, and I, I was thinking exactly what you just said. I was thinking he's talking to his buddy. He's yeah. been not single for two weeks. Right. He's used to seeing ladies at the club. He's used yeah. to talking about ladies at the club, whatever. And I'm because... sure Charlotte is someone that he would attempt to approach yeah. at the club because she is so stunning. Yeah. And I think that he was potentially, what I believe, seeing that again, is that he's using that as an example. Yeah. Like, give me a supermodel, doesn't even matter. Yeah. Don't care. What I see it is, is, is a it's a convenient timing where he's like, okay, super attractive woman walks yes. in. And he's talking to his guy already. Very convenient His lab. Timing. And he's like, yes. and he's like, example, her. Example. Don't care. Exactly. Not interested in getting to know her because I have exactly right. what I want at home. And then, That's really how it looks to me. And then the rest of his conduct at the party for all yeah. we saw was him following through with that. And was being him really nice to Demi, Demi. Like coming up on PDA, her. And, right. Yeah. Like them being Not very talking much to Charlotte together. At all. And the stuff Not he said to his friends about Demi was honestly like exactly what I would want my partner to say about me when I'm not there. You are fired. That, yeah, that their person's fired. I'd be mad to leave you. <laughs> I would. Right. And like there's only one person I want to go home with at the end of the night and that's yeah. her. Like that's what I would want to hear like to me. And it seemed genuine. And I want to acknowledge and agree that I do think Ollie showed up poorly after meeting Kat for the first time. And I think there were feelings there. Yeah. And there I was attraction so there. The way that he showed up at this party to me was fine i it doesn't make me have any reservations about them getting together frankly yeah, yeah i don't either i also don't think it means they will yeah yeah it doesn't mean so... yeah it just doesn't make it more or less likely yeah in my mind yeah yeah agree so sorry if that's not what y'all y'all wanted to hear no, you don't need to apologize like but... that that's your interpretation and a lot of people yeah. have so many disparate opinions on the show right like it, no matter what it was when, when i said like we like ollie you're wrong we hate all you're wrong like it's, it's literally true. it's it, and it's it's just because everybody has a different take right a different a, a different view viewpoint of it uh we, we should probably move on to episode nine though yes please uh, let's watch is it gonna be our nine. is that gonna be our cold open that's a long cold <laughs> Uh, that's like when you watch a TV show or like a movie and 20 minutes in they give you like the title screen yeah, do you yeah. know what I'm talking I mean, about it is so there you go <laughs> episode 9 Love is Blind UK this is Member Ash let's go <laughs> let's 
called He Wants a Prenup, so clearly we're going to yeah. be talking about Freddy. I want to say one more thing, okay. which is just that um, I do apologize to anyone that I triggered with my reaction to Ollie on the Honeymoon episodes. I know it's been a few episodes now, um, but was definitely not my intention. And uh, in general, we try and keep this space as positive and welcoming as possible. So the last thing that I want to do is make someone feel uncomfortable. Truly didn't realize that he had ADHD. I appreciate the people that call it out. And I'm glad that you were able to find community with other people in the comments that also understood like that experience and and were able to yeah connect with each other there longest intro ever so hard if it, if it, it, oh by the way we hit 5k if you have any questions for us please ask them below because we're going to do a 5k q a so if there's any burning questions that you've ever just wanted to know about either one of us our relationship youtube stuff we're an open book there we go semi you reserve the right to not answer a question? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll try, though. I don't know what question I wouldn't answer, to be honest yeah. with you. It was difficult leaving the pods. I think it was tough for my mum and sister to see me like that. I was pretty upset. And they may bring that up. Oh, is she meeting his family? And he, this is after he's been super stressed out. Well, she broke his heart. I heard Ben. Picked someone else. Yeah. And... If I were his family, I also would probably be pretty upset yeah. with her. I feel like, personally, it's a, it's a make or break. I mean, they're not too cranky. They're smiling and they brought gin, so... I know. Pretty fine. He couldn't eat. We've never seen him in a state like that, have we? No. Well, I mean, it's the truth, and Nicole needs to accept the reality of the position that he was in. I need to take some ownership here to apologize. I'm glad she's apologizing. Yeah. I feel like what she could do here is say, and I feel like it's the truth, is like, I got, kind of got played. It doesn't make me feel great that she's like, it just wasn't right with Sam. But I guess her, it's kind of her way of hinting at the reality without saying too much. I had to say what I had to say to him. Yeah. Like I had no, to call him to. out. You can't, I you can't keep things no. in. He can't keep things in. Same. You keep things in for five to ten minutes, and I'm like, what's wrong? You're like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. And I'm I like, do. you're weird. And then I you're do. like, okay. And then I it's need a, to think about it first. Thousand. Like, I just need a minute, you know? So my first what's wrong is your, is, your, is your sign to start formulating what you need to say. And then by, like, the third or fourth, then you're like, all right, I have it formulated. Is it mature behavior? No. Does it happen? Yes. <laughs> well, it's sometimes hard to articulate, like, what you think. I could be better, though, about when you ask me if something's wrong, not saying no when the answer is yes. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> I, what I would prefer is a yes, but I'm not ready to talk yes, about it right now. I know. Because when you say no, I feel crazy sometimes. Because yeah. I'm like, no, you're acting different. I know. That would be a better way to yeah. handle it. I don't know why it's so hard to shift something that seems so small. Because that yeah. doesn't seem like that big of an ask. But yet, it's in the moment, habituated. it feels really big. But how do you know he's the one? That's that's the more important question, I guess. He always wants to be a better version of himself. I've never had anyone look out for me the way yeah. he has. That was sweet. So he's... that That is... It's a compliment of him. Yes. And then the way he makes her feel. Yeah, the way they interact together. And that's... The way that he was shows a, up for her. That really. was a good... Yeah. I thought so, too. I really like Nicole. I think they're navigating some stuff that's really yeah. complicated. Everything with Sam is hard because she hasn't seen... She hasn't, she seen, hasn't the seen the tapes. The tapes. And the once she reunion does, will be huge on I this. I think her perception is going to be different yeah. than it is now. And yeah, the reunion, I think... I think she will feel at that point like it was manufactured, what she yes. had with Sam. But she doesn't right now. You're right. So You're right. I hear that. It's hard. And she seems like a nice person that doesn't want to be mean to other people. Yeah, so she's absolutely. not coming here being like Sam's crazy, like and every she other wants person to see on the, the internet. Best in him, and yeah. even said to him, "I feel like you're kind of misunderstood." And occasionally that happens in yeah. life, where you get a group of people that all dislike someone, and it really isn't because there's anything wrong with them. It's because yeah. there's like a misunderstanding. I don't think that's the case with Sam. No, I'm a funeral director. A funeral director. Okay, fine. Yeah. 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 Fine. What is going on? Are these her friends? It gotta be, right? Yeah, it's sad, but you just gotta support the family, so... I think that's why you are the way you are, like, part of you. Yeah, I agree. Seems like a very nurturing person. Yeah, right? Honestly. He comes off that way. He does. In the way he said, he's like, he's like, it's not, like, the worst job in the world, but, like, yeah, it is sad at times, and you're looking out for people. That was a... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... He seems very caring. 
And I like that he kind of he has he has to like sort of defend his career to these people, it which felt is like. weird. I'm having trouble not being judgmental of these people, and I'm trying to curb it. But like, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to I'm curb struggling, it. struggling, okay. Cat tells me, oh, you know, I'm not about going out and going to bougie places and doing all this. I don't feel like Cat has a good sense of who she is. She keeps telling everyone. She told Ollie. She's telling Freddie. She's not bougie. Both of them are saying to her. It sounds like, though, from what She's you're telling bougie. me, you do that you are. I don't live this lie. Yeah. And it's starting to piss me off. I just wish, I wish they'd break up already. This is such a bad match. This is I just know. such a bad match. They're just, like, fighting constantly. It's bringing out the worst in her, for sure. Yeah. Like, she's not showing up well. Yeah. He doesn't seem to be happy at all. He's uh, decided he wants a prenup. For me, it's a bit controlling. A prenup is controlling? And then he also was taught, and this makes sense, he's a funeral director, but he was talking about dying. So he's yeah. talking about a will. He sees people die early all the time. I'm sure. And like in situations where they didn't think they that didn't they were going to pass. It. Like it was, yeah, an yeah. unanticipated And he's death. hearing people be like, oh, so-and-so didn't have a will when they died. And like, he literally sees it every f***ing day. And tear apart people and families. It'll go then to like yeah. your spouse. And that's stressful yeah. for him. Yeah, I didn't think about that. he's incredibly close with his family. She gets your approval, the seal of approval. Certainly, 100%. Oh, she gets approval. Sometimes people just make the wrong decision. Yeah. It didn't, it wouldn't mean that he has to take her back, but like, yeah. It, sometimes people really do make, and she made the right decision pretty quick. She didn't even go to Corfu with yes. uh, Sam. Do you? I've got a good feeling. Really? I do. Do you? Oh. I think they have a very sweet relationship, and if they can get past the Sam thing, I think they're going to be okay. Yeah. It's just tough. They're on two totally different pages. And they both want the other person to see their perspective, but because they have different viewpoints of what happened, they can't. And he really commits to marriage. Yeah, and then what does that marriage look like? I could see them not getting married just because of the incongruence of lifestyle. I suppose. It's kind of tough for me because, like, I don't really understand what that means, like, the nomadic lifestyle, but I know that... You and I were together really young. I didn't know where I wanted to be, but I knew I wanted to move a bunch. We moved a bunch of different places. Yeah. We're constantly living in different cities. And I mean, a constant for me was that I wanted you in my life regardless. Mm -hmm. And we were going to figure it out whether we it, it meant out. long distance yeah. or whether it meant shifting things so that we could be in the same place together. That's true. And I guess through that, you realize your priorities. Yeah. And my commitment wasn't to a city, but it like mm -hmm. was to you. Mm -hmm. oh. That's true. That's sweet. <laughs> what a good. Well, thank you. You too. Oh, Jasmine and Bobby. We haven't seen much of them at all. Is this him meeting her mom? I've heard it gets explosive. Really? Explosive? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm overselling it. Okay. I might be overselling it. It doesn't go well, is what I heard. She's a straight shooter. You know, this is the mom that used to go through my call log and call each and every single mobile number yeah, that's a little bit that's a little bit more than a straight shooter though oh my god that sounds like unhealthy controlling is what that sounds like okay i'm worried now. I'm, I'm feeling like jasmine's making excuses for her mom's bad behavior and inappropriate boundaries she'll like analyze body language bobby can't hide shit this is scary dude I'm the nervous music. for you him. Hear the music? I know, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for him. This is like Ocean's Eleven. He's not going to make it out alive. <laughs> Would you say, love is blind? Yeah. Oh. oh my God. Did the producer prompt her I to know. say that? Stop it. Come on, sister. <laughs> She's trying to host a season. Right? What's happening? <laughs> There's already a host for UK. And so like the first time we ever went out, mm -hmm. we went to get ice cream and... Mm. Tom was comfortable with me paying. There's an ice cream gate people talked about. I forgot about it. Did we see it? I don't, yeah. I forget them going to ice cream. She Did said, we talk through it? Yeah, but she just bought ice cream and he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that's their tension. No, their tension is that Tom is classist. No, but that was, that was around the ice cream. The, the ice cream tension was that she, he would, he let her pay for her own ice cream. He's a weird one. I don't think he told her to pay for her own. I think she's like, I'm going to get this. And he's like, fine. Okay. That you know? does seem like Or like, Tom. they both bought ice cream separately or something, which is a little weird. That is weird. Like, if you're... You would think you would offer. I do, th I would do think you would. Yeah. I also... Maybe it's just because we've been together for so long, but I, I also would probably offer to buy my date ice cream. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be offended by that. You also don't have strong gender role no. perspectives. No. So. I don't have a strong attachment to my gender or the 
the roles that are supposed to come with it. This episode's mad. As in, it's mad way too long. <laughs> we should take a break and play some ads. I am not 100% comfortable paying someone else's mortgage, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, I agree with that. If you own a home, I'm not paying for your yeah. home. And then when I leave that home, I have nothing. Uh, yeah. Like Maybe I would pay the utility bills or something. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're using those utilities. Sure. But yeah, why, why like... Why am I contributing in somebody to else's the principal in your home? Financial position. Maybe I would help you pay, like, interest, maybe. Yeah. Like, a portion of the interest or a portion of, like, the property taxes. Like, something yeah. that you're basically, like, using up. But I also don't agree with paying for, like, a principal part of a mortgage for a home that you have no ownership interest no stake in. in. Yeah. Yeah. Or, like, improvements. Like, paying for yeah. improvements to someone's home. Like, I, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. The wedding is fast approaching. And there were a lot of hurdles. You know, around our values, particularly the finance stuff. God, Tom is just f***ing shooting himself in the foot because he's obsessed with money. At the end of the day. He is obsessed with money. Yeah. I do wish, like, I wish we got, someone in the comments had said, like, hey, maybe it's because he grew up with, like, uh, financial insecurity. And that contributed to the way that he feels about money and how important it is to him. Or that could be a reason. I'm not sure I if they said Tom. I still don't think it is an excuse for his behavior. Yeah. But um, that's an interesting question. That's like, another I thing of like reasons, not excuses. That. Yes. Yeah. Reasons, not excuses. Exactly. Yeah. I do. I do. I do like knowing the reasons. It's helpful knowing the reasons because it helps you interact with other people. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that they can treat you poorly. Yes. If there's no connection with my parents and Freddie, then that's a deal breaker. Cat, you don't need a deal breaker. Just freaking... Break up. Ugh. Well, the reality is she has a catch. Freddie's catch. He's very good looking. He has an amazing family. He has a great, on paper, he's what she wants. People online were saying recently that she wants more of a baddie or yeah. like somebody who's kind of an asshole yeah. or something. And what she has is just kind of a quiet, nice guy. I thought, gosh, this poor baby's not going to know who we are. Is she going to be okay? You know, will she take to us okay? He's trying to be there for her. He's like petting her her arm, although maybe he's, he's treating her like a dog. No, he's. I think he's great. I don't think really. I don't see a lot of if any red flags with him. Yeah. I was trying at the beginning. I was trying to look for him. I feel like she's closed off to him while he's trying to like comfort her, right? Yeah, for sure. They're Body not language? connecting well at all. She just doesn't like who he is. No, he's she a, doesn't. He likes to crack jokes. He likes to spend time with family. He likes low-key life. He seems perfect to me. He's like <laughs> he's like a super hot Samwise Gamgee. You know? What? He's just like dependable, nice. He's always there for you. He cracks <laughs> jokes. He'll make you dinner. He's not going out and partying. No. In that way, I know people have said like Six he could go on Sam perfect Wise. match. Sorry. But like, I don't really. Did you like my nickname? What? Six Pack Samwise? <laughs> it's like a handsome Squidward. Yeah, he's like handsome Squidward. I just want it to be perfect. I want it to be right. Yeah. Like, she's a great girl. They're just so incompatible. Like, it's just wrong. It's not even. I can say I have problems with Cat, which I do, but it's not really even that. It's just that they're not yeah. good for each other. I think my problems for with Kat are in a way separate from the fact that they just shouldn't be together anymore yeah, at this point. Yeah, absolutely. You know? like she has problems for that sure. kind of piss me off sometimes, but regardless, like they're just incompatible. I'm, I'm trying to sort of push to one side the wedding and just focus on us. I don't, they're not making it to the wedding, right? Even if they do, they're saying no. Matter, it's a no no matter yeah, what. Yeah, I agree. I think they'll both be pretty unhappy if they get married. I agree. Pat's mom and dad are really nice. He would like them. They seem similar. Yeah, right? <laughs> He'd fit better with her mom and dad than yeah. he does with her. I could see him breaking up with Kat, or him and Kat breaking up, and, and then him still being friends and <laughs> yeah. being like, hey, how's it going? Oh, just check <laughs> it like, in. We still text how's Freddy? Jersey this time of year? Yeah, right? Yeah. Right? I, don't, I know they have to focus on all the couples, but I just... I don't like this one. She just did all that weird stuff with Sam at the party and we're not supposed to... I'm just supposed to forget about that and watch this? Yeah, you are. I'm feeling, like, dejected. <laughs> no, I'm just feeling frustrated. She's a good girl. He did call her a good girl, which is a little bit... Like a dog? dog -like. <laughs> good girl. Good girl, cat. <laughs> Little dog, like... Is he treating her like a dog? I don't know. That made me think it's more more possible. <laughs> no hug for him. Do you see that? Denied. Denied. I mean, 
He was already told she's a tough cookie. Yeah. So I've been really looking forward to meeting you. I don't know what to say. I'm on edge right now. I'm scared. I don't know if I've been this frightened for a, for. A I'm really on like I'm on yeah. edge right now. I'm this just is, waiting. Horror movies don't make me this afraid. And I don't want to talk too much because I'm afraid that we're gonna yeah. miss stuff. What made you think that? Oh. This is the girl for me. Normal question. Normal question. Normal question. How about uh, past relationship? How many girlfriends did you have? How's your education, Bobby? This is, this is interrogating. This is interrogating, isn't it? So I ended up not going to university. It's better to be with a person with a good educational background. Not always. It's very difficult to communicate with an uneducated person. What? Whoa! <gasps> Bobby's good at communicating so far. He's handling it expertly. Jasmine was like, Jasmine grabbed his hand though. She's trying she to support him. She knew yeah. the minute her mom said that that yeah. it was online. Yeah. I've always been involved with Jasmine. Oh, based on what Jasmine is saying, a little bit overly involved at times. I am your friend. I am the best friend that you could ever have. Oh my goodness and he's gonna be the father of you know your future grandchildren we can't be doing these things <laughs> bobby. bobby no i think you have to tell me you have to tell me everything her mom has an unhealthy attachment yes to jasmine in my opinion yeah i feel like that that is an inappropriate mother-daughter relationship right it's like, way too much it's yeah, Jasmine is like almost 30. She shouldn't be say, having to say, I don't need to tell you every little thing about my relationship. That shouldn't even have to be said. I agree. But it's literally what, what Jasmine has lived through like every day of her life. Don't ever, ever lie to me. She's scary. She is <laughs> scary. Oh my goodness. She's, She's so scary. scary. I wouldn't lie to her. Wow. wow. She would make it hard for anyone to be with. Jasmine. Oh, man. I don't know if she's realizing how hard she's making it for her daughter. I don't think she cares. And she probably is like, I'm doing the right thing. I, that's just not fair. Like, you have to let people make their own choices and make their own mistakes. Yeah. I don't want you to make the same mis mistakes that I have. Like but she's have centering to. herself. Right. Right? Instead of letting Jasmine live her life, she's talking about herself in this. And you have which is inappropriate. to let people make their own choices. Like, yeah. Jasmine's an adult. A well, well long adult. Even little kids, you have to let yeah. them make, like, fall. You know, you have to yeah. let them make their own, own bad choices and then pick themselves back up. Yeah. It's like part of character development. I think this is kind of a point in, in Jasmine's life, though, where she is trying to exert more autonomy. Because she's actually talking very upfront with her mom and saying, no, I'm not going to tell you everything that happens, you know, and you have to let me do this. Okay. Why am I so emotional? Oh, this is really hard to watch, to be honest. I will always be here to support. It's fine. I think it's fine to have, like, a really close relationship with a parent. But if I just really think the mom is struggling with boundaries. And probably p partly because of some, some like, difficult things in the past. Could have, could impact that, where she overly attaches to Jasmine because it's, like, the stable thing in her life. That was really hard to watch, honestly. That was uncomfortable. Between the comment about people being uneducated. That was Which was a little wild. Rude. Like, it's, it's hard to talk to people that are on it. I don't know. No, not, I've, I've, had, I've struggled to talk to plenty of educated people. <laughs> <laughs> I, too, am educated. I am sometimes difficult to talk with. I want a fish towel. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk. Like, this says Demi's mum. Yeah. Is mum just the acceptable I think nomenclature so. instead of mom? Yeah. Also, they may ask people what they prefer to be uh, called and then use that in the... Which would be yeah. cool. Would you I put kinda, Ashley's hope... mother? Yeah. Because you call your mom mother? <laughs> I do. Mother! Do you still call your mom mother? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say to someone, my mother, I wouldn't say... When you were like 10. I was like 4. 4. Where's mother? As you were a small talk, Victorian child, were I you? never said like mommy or yeah. like... I, I don't know. I just didn't. It's very formal. I was a very strange child, okay? Like, I grew up, I was weird. <laughs> it's Benaya, do you know what I mean? It's always been you. It really has. I really don't yeah. know what was going on with her in those pods. She'll see. She'll see on the reunion. They're a really good match. I want to say something, too, because some people are going to be mad at us or frustrated with us for wanting too many of these couples to make it to the end. And I just want to say that 
Well, no, because a lot of people are like, oh, it's not healthy, whatever. I always oh, okay. I always want people to be happy. And when I see glimmers of hope and possibility, I'm like, yay. You know, I'm like, like, please, like, like if, if they change and they work on themselves, then then uh, then maybe it'll be great. I mean, yeah. some of these people are for sure shouldn't think I, I think shouldn't get married. But for the for in, in, in general, I want them to have a happy relationship. I don't think I'm hoping for that many people. I'm hoping for Steven and Sabrina, who I personally don't see a lot of red flags in. I'm not trying to discount other people's red flags because people have brought some stuff up. They have like, There's not much. It's, you know, if you see stuff, you see stuff. One person said, isn't it weird that we don't have any dirt on them? It is weird. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what the comment was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm rooting for Nicole and Benaya. I think they're a really good couple. I think that they could support each other and be yeah. really great. And I think Sam could be something of the past. For is that like, them. are you ranking them? One to, for like likelihood of getting married? Yeah. And then my third one that I would want to get married is Demi and Ollie. I don't agree that there's not a physical connection. I thought on the honeymoon there really wasn't. Well, but then since then, it feels like there is, and some people need more time. I also think that that's not the only complaint of people, though. It's just, like, the validation thing. I feel like he still does I think he's doing a good job. Her. I think he's doing a good job. I think he's that, but... And, like, it's not, for me personally, yeah. I would rather a million times over that someone says that, like, I'm amazing and the best partner for them than that they say that I'm hot. Like, I just feel like that's a... You and I don't... It's a cheap compliment, yeah, you know? Yeah, So, like, I don't need you to go on and on and be like, you're the hottest person I've ever seen. Oh, the sequence not too much no, no it's perfect no. that's you we need to make sure bobby cries and yeah. yeah i think bobby is gonna cry oh jasmine and bobby too i think they're i put them i'd rank them fourth i actually as could maybe might not I believe that Jasmine and Bobby get married. You think so? I do. Okay. Because online people were like being oh. a little mean to Jasmine's mom. Oh yeah. Because of the way that she showed up, which yeah. I can understand she didn't show up well. Yeah. Okay. So people were saying some stuff about the way she showed up. Yeah. And Bobby was like, don't worry guys. Marissa has apologized. Everything oh, is yeah. all good with us. And I feel like, the reason, the only reason Marissa would apologize is if he were her son-in-law. <laughs> yes, I, I actually think that was super intense and one of the most uncomfortable parental meetings on the it show. It was rough, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. What she said about like uneducated people was really rude. It's the same shit Tom awful. said though. So I'm going to be more mad at her than I am at Tom because Tom said the same crap. I don't know. Even at the, the the dress tryout, she's not being she's not continuously being shitty. No, she said some kind of harsh things. And then I feel like yeah. there's, there's a possibility. Yeah. And you said she apologized to Bobby. Yeah, so cool. and that's really what matters. What matters is, is how they feel with each other. I don't other. think she showed up well, though. Yeah. You know, we all have good days and bad days. I feel like a bit of a princess. Girl's back. She's so gorgeous. Yeah. I look up to you and that. I look up to, like, what true love is. You've set the example of how to love, and that's what I want. Well, she's given, like, a real speech here. That's Honestly, a good one. She yeah. did good. I've got Ollie. I've got a loving family. I feel like they kind of say yes. I feel like they're a good couple. If she feels this confident yeah. with him, some he is validating her in whatever yeah. way that shows up for him. Because usually at this point, there there are cracks or indications. Absolutely. And at this point, there doesn't seem to be any between them no. in particular. They yeah. keep supporting each other. We're not seeing them fighting. We mm -hmm. really aren't seeing the cracks. We're all on the honeymoon. This might be one of the more successful seasons in a while. It might, honestly. Because I don't know how I feel about Tom and Maria now, too. Because, yeah, yeah Tom was breadcrumbing Tasha. It was crappy. Um, I didn't love it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, he Tom, judges people that don't have like corporate jobs. But then he met Maria's family and he said mm -hmm. their values are different. And he's like, I feel like my values are shifting being around her family mm -hmm. and interacting with people like this. I like that. Yeah, like that's if good. he's able to kind of shift some of his more like stringent perspectives. So the only hard no for us is Freddie and Kat. Yeah. But there might be another couple because Kat and Sam might be together. Ew, dude. So, Ew. we got a frequent commenter said that they should they should date each other to take each other out of the dating pool. Oh yeah, I, yeah. that's a that's a solid. And they seem to have a similar perspective. Solid. I think they also said that that they could just talk at each other without listening to what the other person's saying, so they'll just both be happy because they won't hear anything that the other person's saying. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, those are some pretty big digs. But... I kind of want them to be dating because the reunion. Oh, it'd be messy. We so f 
fucking like, messy. Like, wow, if they're dating at the reunion. I, I, would, I would say I'd feel bad for Freddie, but I think Freddie would move on pretty quick. Because the reunion's like a year later. He'll be okay. He'll be happy. He'll be fine. Also, like, Freddie's showing up great here. His DMs are full. Oh, his, yeah, he's... <laughs> y'all Freddy's getting the waiting right. list. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie's all right. There's never a dull moment. It's, it's always magic. It's always fireworks. I definitely want a lifelong partner, but I want a best friend before that. They seem so happy. This Let's is a, a lot, kiss. a lot like our relationship. Yeah, yeah. So when people are like, they don't like each other, I'm like, I don't know, we like each other. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we did say it. We said it last episode. Like, I kind of see us in them. You know, I struck gold when I got him as a big brother. He's, he's amazing. Him and my dad are just the best men ever, mm. ever. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> right, Tom's not included in the best yeah. men ever. To be fair, she doesn't really know Tom. None of these people know each other that well. <laughs> It's true, even so the best couples. So have to remember. Benaya has challenged a lot of my beliefs because he's so committed to my growth and his growth. I really like her talking about that a couple of times and, and that being part of his perspective, I guess, because I think for you and me, that's such a big thing. Yeah, It's like so learning too. and growth and like being better as much as you can. Yeah, absolutely. It's for I me, agree. I think like you... The moment you stop trying to grow as a person is when you start down the de the decline. I agree with that. I like that aspect of their relationship a lot. And I like yeah. how much she values that. Yeah. Because I, I do think it's really important. Like, I want someone in my life that challenges me. And you are challenging. I'm challenging. <laughs> There's so many qualities that she has, which makes me see a very happy future with her. I think the further away they get from having to interact with Sam, and I think that party yeah. is the second to last time they're going to have to, and the last time is probably the bachelor party, because I bet you he shows up oh, there. Oh, God, I forgot that was a thing. But I think if he's out of their life, they will be so much better, and neither of them want him in their life. Yeah, so it's not. So it's like... It'll be that, and then the reunion, maybe. I feel like I could spend the rest of my life with you, and there's no doubt. I really like, do people really feel like Jasmine and Bobby don't... Like, Jasmine's not into him. I feel like that's other people putting their expectations on it. I feel like she's very into him. There you go, y'all. That is episode nine. Oh, it was the single most boring episode of the entire show, and I don't understand why it was so long. Yep. <laughs> why so, so long? long? Why so, so long? long? It was like an UK. hour and 12 minutes. Was why? Really? We didn't need all that. We didn't need it. You we didn't need you it. You could have made that a 40 minute or. Honestly, what was the only, the only exciting thing that happened the entire time was Bobby meeting Jasmine's mom. Couples, who's going to get married? I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap it. We already no, did it. No, I'm rapid firing. I'm rapid firing. Nicole and Benaya. Who yeah, says yes? Yeah. Who says no? They both say yes. Both say yes. Jasmine or Bobby? Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both say yes. Why not? Demi and Ollie. Oh man, that, that quote. I know. Throw me, but they but might be that throwing could be us. Old. He could be like, I initially, I thought. I know, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Both say yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sabrina and Steven. Both say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maria and Tom. Maria and Tom. That's hard. Because, <laughs> like, I love you. You're the best partner for this journey. That lets me think. That leads me to think that the journey's over. So you're saying Maria says no? Maybe, maybe. Is what's Tom say? We don't. He, well, you. They always go with the person they're more sure with. To, yeah. They want somebody to say yes, so the other person. Can I turn think them the down. producers ask them. Yeah. Like, what are you gonna say? And then yeah. you're right. I think they go with the person first that they are the most confident will say yes. So, so they can break their heart. I don't know. I don't know if Tom would say yes, but so we think mutual no. On Tom and Maria? Uh, mutual no or Tom yes, Maria no. Okay. And then I don't know why. I just feel Freddie and Kat. Well, Freddie says no. Or Kat says no. That's a two no. You think <laughs> Freddie would say yes to that? But she said, she said, and maybe she says to him that she doesn't want to show up if he's going to say no. And he shows up and she shows up. Freddie, what the f*** are you doing, man? <laughs> Fucking get your shit together. <laughs> it should be a no. So there you go. Let yeah. us know your takes yes, down below. Please. I had a lot of yeses, which is just unrealistic. It is gonna, unrealistic. I'm going to acknowledge that right now. <laughs> it's you not, said it before. I love love. <laughs> I love love. Okay? I do. I do love love. I want, I want quite a few of these people to work out and like get through their shit and be like, oh, it's a really good partner. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah. They'll be fine.
Yeah. Half of them are just trying to get Instagram followers, so it's whatever. I don't know. These people felt more genuine to me than most other people. Yeah. If I'm being honest. Like, most other seasons, this felt really genuine. Yeah, it felt pretty real. It did. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank Wait, you. Like and subscribe. If like you and subscribe. Yet. Leave us some questions. Questions. In the comment section below. Okay. Um, for the 5K Q and I, and we will answer as many as we can get to and feel comfortable answering. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Then I got it not, and I started going. Ridiculous. All those tearjerkers. Hey, we're gonna go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us.